Yesterday, I published a video with my first attempt at using AI-generated images and videos, and it was pretty unsuccessful. Of course, as with any computer program, part of using AI is learning how to give it good prompts. This is a skill I'll be working on for weeks or months. Today, I continued trying to generate images and video, and I got slightly better results. I started with this photo from a previous video, where I had verbally described an image of children jumping from stump to stump. These images are from LensGo.ai, and what I like about them is that they use the stumps as depicted in my photo. This is what Pika in Discord generated from this image. Not terrible, but it looks like a dream sequence. This is what Moon Valley in Discord gave me, something a bit better, but still unrealistic. I also use Leonardo.ai to generate images for this scene. They're pretty good, just a different style and not based on my photo. But again, all my results reflect the prompts I used and my lack of skill. This is what Pika gave me, based on one of Leonardo.ai's images. I also use Tensor.art to generate images based on this photo I used in a previous video, where I verbally described it resembling a polar bear. These photos were pretty nice, so I used Pika to generate this. Finally, in Tensor.art, I generated an image of a person holding onto a tree, as if gravity had been turned off. This was also based on a verbal description from one of my previous videos. I then used Moon Valley to generate this imagery. Anyway, AI-generated images and videos can be a useful tool for storytelling, but like anything, it'll take some time to get good results. Have a great day.